St. Peter was the disciple who loved Jesus the most. But St. John was the disciple whom Jesus loved the most. Which is more important, to love or to be loved? I'll let you know in a second, but first, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, and share this video with others. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today the Church celebrates the feast of St. John the Apostle and Evangelist. And six times in the Gospel of St. John, including today's, the Evangelist refers to himself as the beloved disciple or the disciple whom Jesus loved. But no matter how much God loves us, it ultimately depends on us whether we save or condemn ourselves. Luckily, though, according to St. Thomas Aquinas, love which descends is efficacious. And coming from God, it sanctifies and produces love in our hearts. Therefore, with regard to our superiors in the supernatural realm, it is more important to be loved than to love. And we see God's love towards St. John all throughout the Gospels. He was called to follow Christ while mending his nets. He was one of the chosen few to witness the transfiguration and invited by Christ to spend time with him in Gethsemane where our Lord suffered the agony in the garden. At the Last Supper, this beloved disciple had the privilege of resting his head on our Lord's breast. And the greatest sign of God's love to St. John happened at the foot of the cross when our Lord Jesus Christ entrusted his own mother to his care. But as St. Bernard says, when God loves, all he asks is to be loved in return. St. John received so much because he showed reciprocity for the generous love that Jesus had for him. When Christ called him and his brother James, they immediately left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. He was the only apostle at the foot of the cross while all the others had fled and were in hiding. And in today's gospel, upon arriving at the tomb and seeing burial cloths there, he saw and believed. So let us ask his grace on the third day within the octave of Christmas to respond in kind to the love which only asks to be loved in return. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.